It's beer o'clock on Redale Craft Beer and celebrations to beersofeurope.co.uk, our channel sponsors for reaching 20 years. It's their 20 year anniversary beer with Moongazer Ales and it's their Tap Room 20 coming in at 4.5% ABV in a 500ml bottle, yellow bottle cap. Without further ado, let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. 20 pence of the sale of this beer. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Goes to the East Anglian Air Ambulance. So fantastic, fantastic donation to the East Anglian Air Ambulance. I like the Moon Gazer Ales, very good. And of course, I'm a fan of my channel sponsor, Beers of Europe. They've been, I mean, they've been supporting us for five, six years on the channel. Um, sending us 10 beers a month and we give them a shout out or link the link in the description box for beersofeurope.co.uk and it's worked rather nicely. So cheers to everybody involved with this, with this 20 year anniversary. Two finger white head, looks very nice, slow moving carbonation. Golden amber coloured ale, let's get the aroma. It's very tropical. A light kind of wafer biscuity malt coming through. And then a real kind of juicy, hoppy, new world aroma on the back end. Let's dive in. Cheers everyone. Multi biscuity bready, grapefruit, touch of mango, touch of citrus, touch of orange peel on the back end. Very tropical, very nice. A really nice balance to it, really. A little bit of biscuity malt first, sweetness, and then a lovely kind of bitter finish on the back end. It's like a tightrope walker with the sweetness over there, bitterness over there, walking along nicely. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows, what a lovely beer. It's it's just, yeah, slightly nutty as well and biscuity. There's, there's lots going on. The, when I'm talking and explaining the beer, there's more going on in the background. <coughs> Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. Let's see if it's bottle conditioned. Maybe, maybe on the next bit of the pour. I can see now. Have a look. If you look closely. You might be able to see that it's definitely unfiltered. You might see little bits and pieces, tiny microscopic bits of pieces, bits and pieces floating around in the glass. That looks really good. Lovely presentation. The rich malty flavours coming through. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. I tell you what I'd like. If the guys from Beers of Europe are watching this, um, I know they watched our live feed the other night, which was fantastic, and they commented on the live feed the next day, so they've got the ability to comment on our on our videos, and I'm sure they will. Um, I'd love a short story from them. A short story is that this is 20 years of Beers of Europe. What was the reason why they started? What was the reason? Uh, was it somebody, a because it's a family run business, was it a family member that was really interested in in what I can see as, as Belgium and German beer because on their website there's a, there's a big combination of American, British and then loads of Belgium and German beers which is just fantastic. Is that the, I mean certainly with the 
Eurostar probably passing through and being able to nip over to Belgium and you know Germany's not too far away either is probably a great opportunity to nip over and drink some really good beer so so that's my guess is that the reason why Beers of Europe decided to open up a, a fantastic beer shop I'd love to know so Beers of Europe if you're watching comment in the comments box give us your little short story as a 20 year little timeline into into your little well, the largest warehouse of beer in the country I'd love to go and visit him yeah it's fabulous absolutely fabulous right We've spent the last 20 years, oh, maybe maybe I'm about to do that now, um, reading the description on the bottle. we spent the last 20 years on a quest to delight people united by their love of beer. Offering up exciting beers from across the globe, we thought it was about time we released one of our own. In cahoots with multi-award winning craft brewers Moongazer, we melded USA and French hops with UK malt to create a Belgian style IPA. Ingredients almost as diverse as our range. Uh, brewed with a chalk filtered water from the breweries on well, this Belgique style beer has a citrus aroma with hints of lemon and orange. Norfolk and European malts give a biscuit backbone and combined lead to a clean, crisp finish. Yeah, it's lovely. It's it's a really, and if, you, if you're in beers of Europe, if you're in that kind of way, it's Garage Lane, Sechi. Norfolk and Moongazer Ales are based in Hindringham Harvest Lane in Hindringham Fabulous I'm gonna rate it Belgian style Belgian style IPA certainly with the strength at 4.5% ABV It's wonderful really kind of uh, tutti fruity American hops. Nice. The malts. I'm really enjoying the malts in the beer. But the American hops are shining too. So a nice balance between sweetness and bitterness. I'm going to rate it. It's a Stone the Crows beer. I really like it. I think all of you should go and try it. It's very nice. Um, I could drink three or four of these. Um, it went down really well on the live feed. Tap Room 20 by Beers of Europe and Moon Gazer Ales. Um, I like that enough to give it a 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.